In the last video, we looked at how you sort of get these line names for free when you already make areas. However, if you would like to name your line specific names, um, that's totally doable as well. So let's look at example for that. Open up 15 and naming line start. So I've already given you some base uh, grid here. I did, this is a similar example we did in the past where one free unit, 500 pixels in the middle, and one free unit on the right. Uh, and then I have uh, 10 columns that are all auto-sized. And then after that, they turn into implicit um, rows. Sorry, rows, not columns. Now, if I wanted to take, um, let's take my item three, and let's just give it a background of a pale goldenrod. Oh, that's ugly. Hold on, let's, let's get something else. Slate blue. Beautiful. Okay, let's say I wanted to take that uh, item three and I wanted to put it uh, in the middle and then span all the way to the top. What I could do is use the track numbers uh, to put exactly where I would want it to go. So grid column, uh, I could say start at two and that's going to put it there. Um, I could say grid row. I want to start at row one. That'll put it up there. And then I also want it to go as high as 10. So I would say span 10 and that will make it go 10 high. So that's what I'm looking for. But uh, we can also name these lines rather than just using numbers. So uh, the way that you do that is, again, the lines are not the columns themselves. They are the uh, sort of the lines in between the columns. So, so uh, one, two, three, four, wouldn't it be nice if those had names? And the way that you can name your lines uh, is by using square brackets when you define your columns. So I'm going to say uh, this could be the site left and then the one in between that, I'm going to say that is the content start. And then after that, I'm going to say that is the content end. And then finally, at the very end, I'm going to say uh, site right. And that will name my lines uh, as we go from here to there. Uh, same thing with the template rows. I could say something like uh, content top. I'm, I could stick a 10 columns inside of there. And then at the bottom of those 10 columns, I say content bottom. And what that will do is it will name the lines. You can still use the numbers in addition to the lines, but sometimes it's nicer just to be able to refer to the lines, especially if you're going to be changing them uh, at a later point in a media query. So give that a save here. Now I want to change this over. I would want the grid column to start at this one, content start. So I would just change that to content start. And that it doesn't change anything. Maybe I'll comment this out so we can see here. And then I want the grid row to start at the content top because that was our that's this line right here. So we'll say content top. And I want it to end at the content bottom, which is ten rows down down here. So content bottom. And again, these dot dash tops and dash bottoms. These are not uh, magic as the start and end were in the last one. These are just line names that I've created myself. So give that a save. There we go. Now it's spanning from uh, the content start to content end and all the way to the bottom. Uh, one other thing you should know about that is you can assign multiple uh, values here uh, because sometimes um, you, you might also want to say like, um, this is the sidebar start at this as well. And then the site, it's it's both the start of the sidebar and the start of the site. Um, and then when you start the content, it's both the sidebar end and the content start, right? Sometimes you need to name the multiple things at once. So this can get pretty hairy. Just feel, feel free to uh, put them on their own lines so you can visualize it a little bit easier. Um, again, the, the, the dev tools don't show you the names of the lines, but maybe that'll be something that's coming. Uh, in, in the future, I would really like to see that. So now that we know that, let's look at our grid autoflow dense, which is something I've been really looking forward to.